So we somewhat arbitrarily have divided the complications of type 2 diabetes into two groups, microvascular referring to what were once thought of as glucose-related small vessel abnormalities, diabetic neuropathy, diabetic retinopathy, and diabetic nephropathy, and macrovascular referring to atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. And by and large, these are the major complications of diabetes and affect a huge proportion of individuals with the disease. So we understand type 2 diabetes as representing the intersection of two uh, both genetically and environmentally determined patient characteristics. One is insulin resistance, decreased action of insulin at its receptor. And that is caused by the environment, namely obesity, lack of physical activity, and a number of genetic factors as well. Uh, and then reduction in the insulin secretory response to various stimuli. And this is probably primarily a genetic factor. Uh, so in this context, the insulin secretory defect is not directly related to the other aspects of metabolic syndrome. But metabolic syndrome is essentially a constellation of abnormalities that are all related to insulin resistance. And this is what seems to be the central actor that leads to hypertension, that leads to a certain form of dyslipidemia that's caused by obesity, particularly abdominal obesity, um, and uh, which in general then leads to the concurrence of diabetes with the other cardiovascular risk factors you mentioned.